All right, Kate University basket cooking tonight here at the Basque Market. I am super excited because in case you didn't know, I'm not a very good cook, but more than willing to learn. So the Basque Market tonight is going to teach us how to make some yummy Basque food. We're going to be making tapas. We're going to be making meat and seafood paella. And then, of course, my favorite part, which I think I am pretty good at, is we're going to be doing some wine tasting of four different Basque wines. And uh, then hopefully I'll be able to make this at home, which is the whole point of Kate University, to be able to do it once you're outside of the classroom. The one thing common. It has to be made in the pan. That's the that thing that the makes it the thing. most. Right. You can make a paella with rice. You can also make it with noodles. Um, oh, you can? Yeah, okay. Fideo. But you could add any toppings that you want. Yes, there are certain things that might be a little strange in there. Okay. But for the most part, yes, you can. We joke okay. around and it's kind of like clean out the fridge to <laughs> yeah. some degree. I mean, there might be a night where you have Our chicken. version of goulash yes. as a kid. Okay. <laughs> Got it. Well, I, I kind of consider it the jambalaya of Spain. Okay. You know, so it's... Typically a rice dish, and you just kind of throw in different things and spices. No. So I just, uh, he just added I just added a little white, white wine, uh, Spanish quarter, which I believe you're drinking, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just by chance. Anyway, never, and, uh, never so, add something you're not willing to drink. At the same time, I also encourage you to use inexpensive wine. That you know, it's. But if it doesn't taste good in a glass, it's not. It's taste not going to taste good in your glass. Exactly. Right. Must have a mix it makes it good. And plus, you only need, you know, a cup or so, maybe half a cup if you're making it for eight. And what are you going to do with the rest? Drink, drink it. it. So I, I put that in there, kind of deglaze the pan, going on. let it cook for just a, <laughs> I have my for just a second. And then I'm going to start adding broth. Uh, this rice is different than risotto. Risotto, you're adding slowly broth and you're constantly stirring. This, we're going to add the broth and we do not stir it. Once the broth is added, you don't stir it. That'll release too much. Uh, starch. So they're going to start sticking, I should probably show you how. The uh, shrimp in first because that is raw. We usually do it in uh, circles where you're skipping, you know, about three, four inches maybe in between and kind of go a circle and then another circle on the inside, so concentric circles. I can't wait to see what putting it in vertically means. Uh, like this. <laughs> Where'd it so go? They started laughing. I teach junior high. My mind went everywhere. Okay, sorry. That's it. But now it's going to tip over. See, it's tipping, oh, it's, it's tipping, going it's and going. Then gonna, and then you're going to go about that far That's over. That's why he waited for the rice to cook a little bit so it would stick And they're just going to go around. Okay. It has a okay. little bit of so, so, so no just good. straight dumping it in. Well, you can, but it's not going to be pretty. It wouldn't be pretty, Kate. All right, guys, I need a review. How is the Kate University meat and seafood paella? Yeah. That's good? Do you guys think you'd actually be able to make it at home? Yes. You are? I know, and you raised your hand too, like me, that said, I'm not the biggest cook, but I think I can do this. I don't cook. Yeah, but I think I can make this. I've never had eight muscles before. You've never had muscles before? Do you like them? You're like, how do you eat them? <laughs> See what you're learning at Kate University? I eat the shirt too, by the way. Okay. All right, now the true test. You signed up your boyfriend so he could make you do some bass cooking for you. Is it possible? Are you going to be able to do this now? Yeah, but he's still going to cook it. He's not cooking? No, he's cooking and I'm eating. And you're eating? Yeah, yeah. that's the way I like it. I know. I am in heaven. Oh my gosh. Meat and seafood paella from the Basque Market is to die for delicious. It's got chorizo in it. It's got shrimp. We have mussels, rice, uh, peppers, green beans, and we made it here at Kate University tonight. And of course, you'll never find me complaining about the Basque wine that we've been drinking all night. So I'm going to close out right now though because I'm not done eating and the more I eat, the puffier I get. Whoops. So enjoy. And I'm not kidding. Check out the link on the KU page for the Basque Market. They do classes like this all the time. The food is to die for. So huge thanks to the Bass market.